what's going on everybody welcome back to another gta 5 mod tutorial appreciate you guys clicking on the video and tuning in today we're going to be covering the native ui 1.9.1 release uh this is going to be a central requirement if you're going to start doing any kind of scripts so along with that we'll be doing the scripthook.net and also scripthook.v once we're on the native ui page we can go ahead and go down to uh, where you see the cube and we're going to be downloading the zip go ahead and download that and export it and then you'll go ahead and move on to the script hook dot, uh, dot net and also you can find the latest download as you can see October 5th just last month actually you can see the latest update is right here um, some mods do require later updates so pay attention to that if you were to need a, an older one, this is where you would come. You'd come down here. Now, uh, also go down to the cube and then download those. And then lastly, go ahead and go to the script hook V and go ahead and hit the download button and extract that too. Once you have all of those extracted, your native UI is going to pop up as this release folder. And then our script hook and script hook dot, uh, net are right there as well. All right, so next we'll need to open up our open IV, get that open, and then we'll go ahead and pop open the edit mode. <clears throat> I have a brand new install, so I actually need to install these. There goes my mods folder. Okay, cool. Next, we need to create a scripts folder. So go ahead, right here, all lowercase scripts. And then we can go ahead and double click on that, open up our release, drag and drop both the native UI into there, and that is all set. Go back to our exported files, go to the script hook uh, V, open up the bin, and I'm not gonna be using this native trainer, but we will be using the first and the last in this folder. It didn't put eight, and the script hook v. This is going to be dragged and dropped into your main GTA 5 directory. And then we can go back. Same with our script hook v.net. We're going to be taking all of these except the readme and the license, dragging and dropping those right into the directory as well. Bam. And that'll be it. Now you can go ahead and input some scripts, whatever you got to do mods as well you'll see that they have a in the description a requirement for script hook.v or the native ui there you go now they're already installed if this helped you go ahead and share the video leave a like leave a comment share with your friends and subscribe i appreciate all the support see you guys in the next video